everybody, Ivani here, another Vlogtober day. We've got about a week left and then it'll be Christmas. <laughs> November 1st is the Christmas season around here. So um, today I have one little thing to show you that I showed you yesterday. It was almost finished, which is that granny square stuffed animal type blanket. This right here from those squares that were in those two lunch boxes. So this is gonna go to Briella and I don't have to deal with it anymore. <laughs> Yay! My lunch boxes are are empty and I think I hear her coming. Briella, I'm finished with the blanket for your puppy dog. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Wanna take it? Oh sure. <laughs> Alright, so yeah. <laughs> so uh, this one's empty this one's empty so I have two plastic bins here that that have some scrap balls of chenille yarn and blanket yarn and I think there are some projects and I don't even know what I stuffed in these bins these two here this one's really heavy uh, these are sitting um, on shelves that I want to organize better so what's in here I really hope to fit into the lunch boxes if it's you know like scrap balls and then if it's projects i want to finish those projects those will go on my crochet cart to get those finished i can hear the slow cooker like doing a sizzle thing and it's not supposed to do that let me check on it okay i just turned the slow cooker on low it was on high i'm making chili which is really easy to make and now nick's calling me Okay, that was his usual phone call of a what's for dinner. Uh, and as I was just telling you guys, it's chilly. Um, but I didn't put it in until a little later. And so I, I put it on high and I usually just cook it on low. And then I was making some sizzling thing. But it's all good. It's all good. It's really simple. It's just uh, navy beans, kidney beans, a packet of chili seasoning, and a packet of taco seasoning. And like three or four cups of water mix it up and I usually cook it on low for about six to eight hours but I'm hungry and it got put in late so I put it on high for a couple of hours <laughs> it's all good oh and then I add like a half an hour or so before it's finished like before the beans are, are, are done I put a small can of diced tomatoes and green chilies so that's what's for dinner tonight for Nick and I anyways the girls don't like chili so they'll have some random things probably <laughs> I don't know raspberries and rolls I've got so those two bins I'm gonna turn the camera around and just kind of go through those and sort them and show you what I've got I'm, I'm curious to see too because I don't really remember I've just been stuffing stuff in those here we go as you can see I am sitting down and I did put my my glasses on um, my eyes were getting kind of tired from my contacts so I'm sorry about any glare there. I tried to set up the, the camera, which is just my phone, with an overhead view, but the yarn just kept like doing that white thing where it just blew it all out and you couldn't really tell what was in the basket. So I'm just gonna sit here and I've got the empty lunch boxes next to me and I'm just going to kind of show you a leg of this. Yes, this is much better. Uh, just see. What we've got in here this is the smaller of the two the heavy one is right here I'm sorry I wiggled the table so we're going to do, set that down gently we're going to do the smaller one hopefully get some scrap um, balls to be able to put in those lunch boxes and then get those organized anything that's not finished project wise I'm going to put it on my crochet cart to get that done and why am I putting yarn and lunch boxes well though they're in my living room the lunch boxes there's like some 80s stuff in there um vintagey type I guess you could call it decor my house is not like a magazine I mean you see the dining room we're right in here and it's like I don't know so yeah these are just in my living room and I want to put them to use so that's why I'm putting yarn in them first things first I see this guy right away this was a reindeer project that I started years ago. I don't even remember. I do have the ears. 
I mean, really? I could turn this into, oh, it does have a tail. I was gonna say I could turn it into any animal. So I'm not quite sure what the pattern was. I might be able to find it. But I do have the ears and these antlers and eyes. This shouldn't be like a hard thing to finish. I don't know why I stopped. It's made out of velvet yarn. It's, it's quite cute. Um, but yeah, I need some eyes and some antlers or something. So that will go on my crochet cart. Now in here we've got this blanket yarn. So this is a lot of blanket yarn. Blanket yarn. This is a bigger thing of blanket yarn. See, maybe the blanket yarn will fit. I don't know. Oh. This is chenille yarn from, I think, Dollar Tree. It's that thinner. It's pink and white. The, these are legs for a baby. Oh my goodness. All right, here's the head. This was going to be a bear. Uh, um, I think it was a pattern that I just was making bigger than the original pattern. I'm pretty sure I know what teddy bear, what it is. Um, when I find that pattern, I will finish this. And yeah, because I've got, I've got the yarn right here. Okay, so this will go on my crochet cart. We're getting pretty empty. It's it's pretty empty already. More a blanket yarn. This is black blanket yarn and tiny bit of pink blanket yarn. More a black blanket yarn. I'm guessing it's all burnet blanket. This is burnet blanket yarn. Tiny. Okay, then we've got these yarns which are a little bit thicker. This is what I made octopuses out of. Uh, how many do I have? I've got four. Four of these. I, I'm just going to put them in with the blanket yarn. I can squish it in this lunchbox. I think it'll fit. And then there. this is a thicker. This is much thicker than this. So it just gets thicker and thicker. Um, so we've got the blanket yarn. We got the blanket yarn and then this thicker stuff and then this really thick stuff. Okay. Oh, this I made a dinosaur out of. A really big dinosaur and that was a scrap ball from that. It's like a chenille. It's probably just, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> I know it's from Michael's and it's like a, a thicker chenille yarn. Ah, well, there they are. <laughs> My string of stitch markers. I've been using the same stitch markers. Like I've got like four or five of them um, on my desk and I knew I had more. Okay, so those will go with my stitch markers. And now we have an empty bin. What am I going to do with the empty bin? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> I'm going to put skeins of yarn in this. I might tip it on the side and put skeins of yarn because if I got that yarn that um, I'm making the My Little Ponies out of, the skeins of it, and it's just all over it's kind of like on the floor and stuff so i think that's what i'm going to do with this and i'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done this is the glow worm one and i'm got what i just showed you squished i'm gonna see if i can close this i'm wiggling the table i'm sorry about that it's not gonna close it's not gonna close <laughs> totally not gonna close wonder if I put it in the Care Bear lunchbox. The Care Bear lunchbox is a bit deeper. So let's see if I can get it into the Care Bear lunchbox. As I'm doing this, why would I keep a tiny bit of blanket yarn like this? Well, to make those balloons, oh, actually there's one sticking out of the other basket. These, these water balloons, I use the scrap yarn like I did right here because who cares if they're different colors? They're fun. Everything will fit. I think I can close the lid except for this big thing of red, which I might just put on my shelf uh, because it is quite a lot. So let's see if I can get this closed. Da, 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 da. Let's see here. Let me get this closed. This lunchbox always reminds me, this is my second grade lunchbox, and it reminds me of bologna and mustard sandwiches. 
because that's what my mom would pack. Success. We've got some success. Nothing is sticking out of it. Awesome. So this will go on my shelf with, I've got some strawberry shortcake games. Once I get, I don't know when it's going to be, but once I get the living room all cleaned up and organized, I'll do a room tour of that. But don't hold your breath. It's going to be a while because I've got a lot of organizing and stuff to do in there. Anyway, so then this red is just going to go on the shelf. I'm going to set that right there. This is not going to work. I've got this lunchbox left and I've got this. Let's see what's in there. So I knew I had a bunch of little pieces and like scraps of chenille yarn, the thinner stuff. This is from Dollar Tree. Right now I'm just going to quickly sort it and just put all of the yarn in the lunchbox. And then <laughs> this was the mess up. But I still want to keep this because it shows me what to do um, when I do make these geckos. This is a pattern by Complicated Knots. Um, so I'm, I'm going to shove this on my crochet cart because I will be making more geckos. A snake. Oh, this one. Okay, so this snake, I didn't give it very good eyes. I think there are black eyes on here. Yeah right there, really hard to see. So I wanna fix this, embroider some, some better eyes. That's gonna go on my cart. Tiny thing of yarn, yarn. Okay, the bee, the big bee. This just goes in my stuff that I want to list. Probably on Michael's Maker Place or, I don't know, I might even put stuff on eBay. We'll see what I do. I'll let you guys know <laughs> when I know. So. I'm just gonna put this, I have a bag in the living room of, of finished Jamie Groomies, that's where this is gonna go. Oh, these guys aren't quite done. <laughs> this is the leggy froggy pattern. Um, and these are my bee leggy froggies, but they need wings. And the yarn for the wings is right here. This is all Dollar Tree yarn. So I just need to finish these. This is gonna go on my cart. Finish those. Velvet yarn. I did not have a plan where to put my velvet yarn. I'm going to set it on the table right now. We've got the head of a frog, which is attached to, what are you attached? Okay, good. You're attached to, the, to this. So I'm going to put this on my crochet cart. Might make it another B. Might just make it a yellow one. Um black. You know, I'm just gonna make it a bee. This one into a bee frog, froggy bee. Because because the yarn's right here. <laughs> this is a small ball of the white um chenille yarn from Dollar Tree. More velvet yarn. Not sure where I'm gonna put that. More blanket yarn. That is not gonna fit. This is this blanket yarn. It's not gonna fit in my my Care Bear lunchbox. Wow, my glasses are really glary. I'm gonna take them off. Okay, more velvet yarn. We're up about halfway. Holy velvet yarn, Batman. This is a big ball of probably charcoal for nat velvet. T-shirt yarn. I did make a leggy froggy out of this and it looks pretty good. Maybe, maybe that's what I'm going to do with the rest of this. I, this is all I've got of this t-shirt yarn and I want to use it up. So I'm going to put this on my crochet cart because leggy froggies don't take very, very long. More yellow. Wow, I have a lot of yellow. Wait, so this is connected to... Okay, so I am very unneatly just going to wrap this around so it doesn't get tangled with the other yarn then I'm putting this with wow it's really long so as I'm hurriedly messily wrapping this what have you guys been up to um thinking about Christmas yet 
I am thinking about decorating. Okay, good. So that is gonna go in the lunchbox for sure. That was the purpose of this lunchbox was stuff like this. This is what I was thinking. This is my vision was chenille yarn that's just little would go in, in there. another froggy head okay connected to just a little bit well, we're gonna finish that white yarn I had a lot of little balls of the white chenille yarn from Dollar Tree the one I set aside is this one so I'm gonna work through since this is messy I'm just gonna work through that one first these will go in the lunchbox oh, this is the thicker stuff that will not fit in the camera lunch box. And we've got more, more thicker stuff. I think this is like chenille home slim or something like that. More chenille home slim. I'm calling it home slim. It could be the other kind. Can't remember the name of it. Black and black. And more chenille home slim. Okay, you guys, I need a project to use up my chenille home slim. Oh my goodness, I just thought of it. Angelia from Crocheting House Mouse. Hi, Angelia. She, this, this was, oh, the bunny. You guys know the bunny that um, she had made and then I had made them and made Cory the Giant Bunny, only not giant, but she made it out of a bigger yarn and I think that's what I'm gonna do with all of these. Wouldn't that be pretty? All of these chenille yarns. Hmm. Yeah, the wheels are turning. <laughs> okay, this is velvet yarn. This is uh, one of those cakes that changed color. I, I don't know what I was attempting to make here, so I'm gonna need a spot for velvet yarn. This will be a bunny. Velvet yarn. More of the pink and white yarn that goes to this project here. So I'm just gonna keep it on my crochet cart with with the pieces. Speaking of pieces. Well, I know what I'm gonna do with some of that velvet yarn. You guys, you guys. Oh my goodness, uh, arm and ear and a leg, bunny, bunny arm. I can make a scrap. What was I doing? A yet another bunny arm? So I got three arms. You can make a three armed bunny. No, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, I know I don't have any more of this yellow velvet yarn. So, you guys, I'm probably with these velvety yarns, you know, that I have. I'm probably gonna make another like kind of scrappy looking bunny because I've got it like well I've got one almost half ready this will go on my crochet cart I didn't think I had this many projects I, I knew I had a few leggy froggies and I knew I had that reindeer somewhere but I didn't think I had this many projects that are not finished tiny tiny okay I will probably put these, well, I dropped one. I'll have to get it before the cats do. These tiny ones, velvet yarn, it's gonna go into a bunny. I just, I really like that pattern. I will link it down below, Cory the Giant Bunny. And more velvet yarn balls. Wow, I didn't think I had this much velvet yarn. Well, this is a big mess of velvet yarn. And, oh, you know what these are? These are not bunny arms, these are cat tails. When I was making those velvet cats, these are tails. And those are really fun to make. And it's this color. Okay, I'm gonna make a couple more bunny, or a couple more cats. I'm gonna have um, a lot of, I'm gonna have a lot of baby groomies. <laughs> Tiny bit of chenille-ish yarn. Oh, it's your new home slim, I want to say, or something like that. That'll go in like a, a bigger giant bunny. These are all velvet yarns. And yeah, I think the best thing to do would just incorporate them into 
scrappy bunny since I've already got some of the <laughs> some of the pieces for those and those don't take me very long because I've made it so many times okay um, I, have, I have a lot of projects wait we're almost done this is what's left this is what's left in here we've got an eagle I made this last year maybe um, this was my pattern for a sweet feet heart feet heart eagle I think this is a piece of felt that I cut into the shape of a heart I don't know where I put this pattern <laughs> when I find it I'll probably do let's do a tutorial on it because it's so simple and you can make these any any bird you know just just change up the colors and they're just they're small it would make a really good keychain too this I am counting as finished though and so I'm gonna put this with the bee these two things are gonna go in my bag of amigurumis that would be another video to show you guys the bags of amigurumis <laughs> That I have in my living room and then to finish it off there's just a few really really scrap pieces of yarn one the brown is a brunette vet, um, blanket the other two are ones was this velvet and one is chenille I'm just gonna throw these away I know I know I know I should keep them for stuffing but whenever I use something that's not polyfill and then I this is not enough to stuff anything and then I stuff it with polyfill it just I don't know I don't like how it, it clumps up so that's garbage and this is empty I had hoped that both of these I could put yarn in you know um, sideways and then set this on my shelf and then I could see all my yarn but I need a spot for all this velvet yarn so I'm going to put the velvet yarns in here with those bunny parts <laughs> that sounds horrible with the unfinished amigurumi cory the giant bunny i'm gonna that's what i'm gonna do this is all velvet yarn and pieces for oops i lied here's another velvet yarn <laughs> that, this is all velvet yarn that i'm gonna make the bunnies out of and i probably should put since it's velvet yarn i'm trying to like do it by yarn like organize by yarn these cattails i'm gonna put them on top <laughs> it's kind of a whole basket of things to finish i'm kind of accomplishing my goal these are the smaller um chenille yarns from dollar tree the thinner stuff but then i've got these that i want to make a bigger Cory, an actual Cory the Giant Bunny out of? Probably, yeah, I really do. This is not as thin. This is just like the regular chenille yarn, not the home slims, but I'm still gonna put it in there. And then there's a blanket yarn, which should go in the Care Bear one, but it's not gonna fit. And this one's pretty. I think I could get away with using it. Maybe I could do Burnett blanket yarn and chenille home slims together for for a bunny what do you guys think would that work I think it would probably work we could try it and then this big hunk of red which i was going to put on my shelf will probably fit in this oh yeah it's got a nice a nice like sturdy latch on there and of course i've got yarn hanging out of there ah i gotta fix that okay pop Woo! there it is get that little yarn tail back in there and squish this back down i'm gonna put it on the table i don't think it's gonna pop do you think it's gonna pop it'll be fine everything's fine so i have two 80s lunch boxes stuffed with yarn, chenille, and Bernard blankets. So now I just have a pile of things that I need to put on my crochet cart to get them finished. Uh, and I could put some of my other yarn skeins in here. It's progress. Um, not perfect, but progress. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my mess, <laughs> all of my unfinished projects. 
I'm sure there are more that I haven't found yet. And, but I'm, I'm working towards that goal of finishing things by the end of the year that I have started. So my crochet cart is now going to be filled up with projects so I can get those, I don't know where, <laughs> so I can get those finished and then somewhere. That is today's Vlogtober. I hope you guys had fun watching me try to try to stuff things in lunch boxes and organize some old projects that I am very eager to finish. You can hear that. That's Whiskers, the black cat, eating some dinner. Crunch, crunch. And I need to get the girls their dinner too. So I hope you guys have a good night. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody.